afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome to a little bit of an afternoon with the tools. What I'm going to do this afternoon is I've got two squeegees which are the same length, and I want to I want to tweak the tips of one of them um, by doing something. It's called dog earring, and what you're going to do is basically I'm going to trim the corner of the of the squeegees so that when it rides up on the edge of the window, um, if you can see here. If I turn it this way, let's see if you can see. If it's like this, with this little metal section here, the black rubber rides up. And what I'm going to do, is what I'm going to try to do, is I'm going to cut a little bit here and I'm going to bend this tip down so that it's pushing on this little bit of black rubber and then it'll stop it lifting up when uh, you run close to the edge of the window. So, that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, I've got two of them, so if I make a complete stuff up, I've got another one that's the same size because this size is by far my most common used size. But we'll try and make a little video and see how it works out. There's going to be lots of noise, nothing complicated. But first things first, I need a coffee, so I'm going to go and do coffee and then I'll be back. I don't have too many tools on the go here, but one thing which for me is very important is looking after my eyes. Um, so I've got these little yellow things. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. Right, so let's just put all these tools on the floor and we're going to end up with just one, one channel at the end. Okay, what I've done is I've pulled all the, the rubber out of the channel and I've taken the channel off of the handle. And with a pen, I've marked on the channel roughly where I want the lines to be. So you can see on here, I've just marked it with a pen at the angle at which I, wanna, I want to cut. So when I cut these channels, I'm going to cut along the line and also at an angle. So it's going to end up being something like along those lines and at an angle. So I'm going to get stuck in with one of those and let's see how it goes. I've put the channel inside my twisty table here to try and hold it as straight as I can so that I don't bend the channel. And then you can see just on the edge that's where the line is. So I'm just going to cut along that line and also I'm going to try to lean the saw over a little bit so that I've got a nice edge. Okay, looks like I'm halfway through. We'll carry on going. It's getting a bit warm now, but it's okay. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, not too bad. I'm going to go and find a file. I think I need a file, and then we can just tidy that up a little bit. I found some rough sandpaper or some metal paper, so let's see how this. Just tied it up a bit. Okay, so there's one side done. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. And then we can clean that up and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, second one done. I can see it's not quite as good as the first one. This is just a rough experiment. I can feel that the rubber is catching on this end here. So I'm just going to sort that out if I can. There we go. So now the rubber slides nicely. That's the first half. 
So now what I need to do next is I'm going to make a very small cut. I'm going to make a very small cut here with the saw and at this end and I'm going to do the same again at this end about as long as that line and then I'm going to be able to bend this tip down towards the rubber that's the idea okay so I've drawn the little line on here I'm pretty much going to go where the bend is and about one blade width that's how big I want to make the cut so I'm just going to go in here so that I'm missing the channel on the other side let's see how we get on here I think that's enough I don't want to cut too much I can always cut more later but I can't uncut it so that's one side let's just flip it round and we'll do the other side Okay, I'm looking at one at this end, how long it is, one at that end, they look about the same. Right, so I'm going to put the rubber in and see if it slides nicely all the way through, I don't want it catching anywhere. Lights good, no problems. Rubber squeegees now needs to have a little bit of a trim, but so far it looks okay. I'm a bit nervous chopping up all my hardware, but still, it's all part of the experiment. So I'm just looking at this. What I need to do is twist. If you look at this one, I need to twist this end section so that this front edge is more pushing onto the rubber. This one is the same. I just need to twist it down a little bit. Let's have a look. There you go. You can see it's pushing down a little bit on the rubber. It's not perfect. But I get the idea of what it is that they're trying to get us to do. Right. So far so good. So, let me just centralize the rubber nicely. That looks good there. That looks okay there. I think that's ready for testing. And literally this job, even with the stop starting and going to fetch the right tools, took me no more than 15 to 20 minutes. Really, it took nothing. So, I'm going to go and give this a quick test, and if it works, I'll take you with me shortly. So, let me go and get a bucket and a mop and give this a whirl, see what happens. So, what we now have with this trim squeegee, I have the option to run down the window at any angle, and it doesn't really make any difference. But I definitely don't have that option with a traditional edge squeegee because as I go square it starts to skip and then it starts to leave. My little review if you like on the two squeegees so I've got here now I've got one with um, a flat tip and one with a trimmed tip so we'll just have to see how they work. I'll keep you updated but the next job I do that needs a 20 centimeter then I shall give it a go. Right I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers!